Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Bloom. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. One Flint business is getting international attention for being featured in a new Black Panther MasterCard commercial representing Flint. Egypt Otis will be flown to Los Angeles where she would see the world premiere of Wakanda Forever with all the stars. Gifted more than $25,000 in funds for her business, Otis plans to grow it and promote her cause. She says she is one of only six black independent bookstore owners in the state and the only one in Genesee County. A mid-Michigan museum getting a makeover. A local scout, 14-year-old Michaela Witkin, was out putting some finishing touches on her equal project at Saginaw Children's Museum today. The teen installed frames for informational signs on the museum's patio. One will be used for an exhibit on solar power. So I'm working with the Mid Michigan Children's Museum to create the exhibit on Leave No Trace for Kids, the Outdoor Code, and Solar Energy. And so I've turned their outdoor space, uh, I've, I've put sod in and I'm putting signs in about those topics. You can see Michaela's work for yourself at the museum in the back parking lot. And more than 5 million tickets have been purchased for tonight's world record $1.6 billion Powerball jackpot drawing. About 2.5 million tickets were purchased on Friday. Today's drawing will be the 40th since the jackpot was won in, um, in August. A $1.5 billion mega millions jackpot currently held, holds the record for the largest prize ever won in the mitten. That was won in January 2021 by an Oakland County Lottery Club. You can watch the jackpot drawing tonight on TV5. Now here's Kyle with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Raven. It's been a busy day in the Weather Center with those temperatures uh, getting back into the 60s. We've had some rain showers moving through. And of course, those winds that we've had uh, gusting between 30 to 45 miles per hour for most locations so far. We do have some more of the wind uh, coming uh, through mid Michigan over the next couple of hours before we're finally able to lose that wind as we head into the overnight hours. Here's a look at your uh, wind forecast. Again, we could be seeing those gusts close to 40 miles per hour over the next couple of hours till about 9 to 10 o'clock, and then we start to see those gusts gradually ending. But we will still be holding on to gusts of 20 to 30 miles per hour as we get into about midnight. Once we get into early tomorrow morning, those gusts of about 20 miles per hour are a better bet, though I do think that we'll pick those gusts up just a little bit tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, really, we're talking 25, maybe 30 miles per hour as we get into your Sunday. But here's the hour by hour. Again, the shower is still moving through the area as we get into the later portions of this evening. Temperatures holding in the 60s until that cold front sweeps through here, and you see temperatures quickly falling back into the 40s and 50s. Eventually, as we head throughout the rest of the overnight, we'll find ourselves in the low to mid 40s for most locations and clearing out once we get into tomorrow afternoon. It's actually looking pretty nice out there. Still a pretty stiff southwest wind, so we're still pulling up a little bit of warmth, helping us get back into those low 60s, but we will have some sunshine out there for you. And as we continue through the forecast, we do look mostly clear. Here's a look at the seven day. Look at uh, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. Lots of sunshine out there, a little bit cooler for your Monday and Tuesday, and even Wednesday a little bit there as well. But then we start to warm back up into Thursday before chance for rain on Friday and we cool down quite a bit into Saturday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.